Hey everyone, Tim here from Flavor Blaster with a new episode of Tim's Tips. This week is all about the Flavor Blaster battery and it's free of charge. Let's go. Few customers of ours recently have been asking the usual questions about the Flavor Blaster battery. How long does it last? Which cable should I use? Does it work if I spill a margarita into the charging port? So in order to answer these valid questions, here is a step-by-step -step guide for you guys to follow to charge your Flavor Blaster and look after the battery. Plug the provided charging cable into the Flavor Blaster charging port and the other end into a mains socket. We recommend only using the charging cable provided and if you need to use an adapter, make sure it is 12V1A. Also, never let liquid enter the charging port on the Flavor Blaster as this will create a short. It will take the Flavor Blaster eight hours to charge from 0% to 100%, which will give you eight hours of usage time. After 30 seconds of non-activity, the Flavor Blaster goes on standby mode, so it should last a few services before you need to charge it again. The screen on top of the Flavor Blaster tells you how much charge the Flavor Blaster battery has. Four bars, 100%, three bars, 80%, two bars, 60%, one bar, 40%, red ring, 10%, flashing red ring, 0%. We recommend not allowing the Flavor Blaster to run completely out of battery. As soon as the charging screen displays one bar, put it on charge. If the Flavor Blaster has run completely out of battery, be aware that it can take up to an hour before the screen starts flashing again after you have put it on charge. Don't worry, it isn't broke. A couple of final points. Try not to overcharge the Flavor Blaster. When charging is complete, remove the charging cable immediately. This will prolong the battery life. And finally, always remove the aroma tank from the Flavor Blaster when the machine is on charge. This goes for any time the Flavor Blaster is not in use. And that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, please like and subscribe. And if you have any video requests of your own, use the comments section below. And I'll see you next time.